guys, it's your girl Manamiks and I am back with the thing I've been waiting on pretty much all year, the Xbox Series X. So, if you're enjoying any content on my channel, gameplays, reviews, reactions, whatever I got going on, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here, you're here. Let's be here together, guys. Yes, bitch, yes. Um, yeah. So, firstly, I bought this with my hard-earned quaint, okay? I'm not soup i'm not one of, i'm not i'm me <laughs> here it is in the bag i wanted to show you this bag because this is a little this little damsel in distress story time which is pretty hilarious so let me take this off i have not looked at the box yet because i just i story time hold on a second let me take this out and here we are look how okay a lot of people don't understand how big this box is now, granted, it's not going to be the PS5 bigness, but this this uh, box is weighty. She is thick. She is thicker than a Snickers. Uh, she ain't miss no meal. She red beans, rice. You know what I'm saying? Cornbread, red beans. She's got it. Um, but yeah, look at this. This is the standard front side of the Xbox. Then you get the, uh, the side profile. And of course, you get the back. Oh my gosh. It's the reason why I'm wearing my Halo shirt today. Halo on the back, beauteousness on the back, <sighs> and then you have like specs and stuff on this side, like what comes in the box and stuff like that. Anything, 8K dynamic range. That's sweet, I'm using a regular ass monitor. Okay, all right. So, this is the outside of the box and a little story time. So, um, I've been hearing of the grand adventures that people have been having today trying to get up and pre-order it yesterday for release today, not I said the cat. This is the reason why I will always go in store. And this is the reason why I will always go to GameStop. GameStop is crappy to their workers, crappy to their customers, but really crappy to the workers. Four years, worked there four years. Thank goodness that that had nothing to do with my income. Um, so I didn't care what they did. I didn't care that I didn't get a raise. I didn't care because I already have my job. But, um, do I need a knife? I think I do. Always prepared. Always prepared. Okay, all right. Um, so, there's tape on. I'm just gonna, you know, cut the sides with the tape. I don't even know how this box is supposed to open. Let's talk about that first. Um, I wanna make sure I'm opening it correctly, so, please. Okay, I see. So I have to lay it down like this and lift up the top got it so i gotta be careful how i open this and i have this nice big area over here but my mic doesn't reach i don't have a, a working lapel mic so that's the reason why it's always in my lap um but i'm gonna go ahead and slice this so i pre-ordered mines during the first run of pre-orders months ago maybe like two months ago i am friends or at least like a frequent customer of the people at the GameStop that I go to. And so what I did was, as I dropped $50 on another pre-order, just like a random pre-order, and then when it opened up, they moved it to that. Because I did the same thing for customers, especially for frequent customers that came into the store all the time. Um, I gave them a heads up, so I appreciate them giving me a heads up. That's all I had to do. But the damsel in distress story, <clears throat> can I open it, will you open it? Or is it another, is it another tape? More tape. Um, the damsel in distress stories that when I finally, let me not cut myself. So when I got there, there was maybe like seven people in line and they were only letting the first five in stores. And I was like, well, I have a 10 o'clock appointment. Can I come on in? All right, six in the store with my ass. I trotted to my ass up to the front. And I was like, hee hee. And, um, okay, hold on. Oh, there it goes. I got the tape off. We went open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is so pretty. I like the way it has a setting up. Okay, ooh, let me turn it to the side. Um, but yes, and then, ooh, ooh, she, ooh, she beefy. I knew she was beefy, but bitch is thick. Ooh, hold on. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Power your dreams. I will, ho. I will. Power your dreams, bitch. We do it here. Ooh, she heavy. Yeah, every, every bit of this I feel. Jesus. Good God. Okay. 
So I'm gonna set this ooh, here. Tap, Jesus. And then you get the startup, you get the little startup thing. And inside it here, we have the power cable, of course. It comes with the 2.1 HDMI cable. Very important that it is the 2.1. I'm just gonna set these over here. You can kind of see it in the frame. Um, and then the controller. Okay, so back to my story. So I picked up my Halo Pop, which just reminded me that it was pushed back. Uh, but these batteries that I'm gonna be using for other things because I have my, uh, I, I probably won't be, ooh, 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 she's texturized, y'all. She's texturized like 1990s black hair. Texturized, look at that, that's nice. That is nice, but I will not be using this controller. Um, look at the nice little share button in the middle it has here, it's pretty cool. It's got the D-pad, that's the other option for the uh, controller. I have the Elite 2 controller, so this is what I'll be using. Um, but yeah, the textures that's that are right here on the Elite controller are, are lighter or not as texturized, but kind of the same texture on the back of here. So I do like that they did that. That's really nice. That's really nice what they did with this. And they got the textures on the, the, the triggers as well. That's pretty cool. Textures. No textures on the bumpers. Oh, I'm a liar. Textures on the bumpers down here at the bottom. Even though I don't push bumpers like that, I push them up here. That. You have the sync button. Of course, the USB-C connector to charge. Yep, and you have the plugs down here for the headset. 3.5 jack. This is really nice. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know what, where I'm gonna put this, but I won't be using this. Like I said, I'll be using my uh, Elite 2 controller. So I do all that, I get my system, and I'm like, yeah, they put it in these black bags. Now, I don't know why my GameStop memory failed me. These black bags suck ball sacks, okay? They're horrible. They are horrible, horrible bags. And so she put it in there, and I put my pop on top, and I gripped it, and I was like, okay, bye, thanks, guys. And as I was walking out, the handle broke on one side, the system tipped. I was like, no! And then three other people were like, no! And so we were all knowing to catch the system. I caught it on my knee, my bad knee, by the way. And um, we had a nice little chuckle, but I had to carry it football style to my car because of course the handles broke. Now, I don't know why they didn't give us the regular degular um, giant ass bags because it would have fit just fine. I'm thinking they were trying to like protect people so people been looking their stuff, whatever dog. Give me the regular GameStop giant ass fucking bag, please. Thank you. And now we get to open the system. Open the system. Is this a slidey offy? Oh no, it's not. I can actually, uh, boop. Pop that. Pop that, pop that. All right, so I'm taking off this. It's almost like Christmas. And I open these. Open, open says it me. Oh wow, ooh. I like the, ooh, I like the finish on this. This will collect a lot of sweaty fingerprints, but. Ooh. Hold on, let me set this here. Child, she's heavy. Make sure I don't drop my baby. I don't drop my boot, my bitch, my babe. Oh, she's weighty. Yes, this is definitely heavy, but look at it. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then there's nothing on this side, and you have the back, you have the ports. Ooh, I gotta cradle it like a baby. I gotta cradle this bitch. Okay, so we have two USB ports. We have the storage expansion. We have the HDMI out. We have the LAN and the power plug. Now with these, I've been getting um, conflicting things and I'm not quite sure. So I'm gonna have to test it myself. What is this? What is that a holy for? What is that? Is that a hole? What is that? Is that a lock? I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna leave it. Um, ooh. Oh, that's noise. I can see the fan on the inside, that's what I'm looking at. Um, oh, she heavy. Oh, and look at that. I like how it has green on the, the inside of it at the bottom. 
in different levels of it. That's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet for that. Um, but I've been hearing conflicting information about whether or not you can use a regular expansion um, external hard drive or you have to get the proprietary one. Um, okay, so the Seagate expansion card, you can run the upgraded games, the regular games, like you can run pretty much anything Xbox produced that will fit on the drive on the drive. The external USB, like a regular external drive that you that everybody else has, um, you can use that for storage only for the, the um, Xbox Series S games and the upgraded games. But for all the other games, it works just like normal. So what I would recommend is making sure that your older um, your older titles, your uh, non Series X specific titles are on your external hard drive and then put the upgraded and the Series X specific titles on your hard drive inside of the system itself, on your internal hard drive, if that makes sense. So that you can still use your USB and not have to pay 230 motherfucking dollars for an SSD external, like, bitch. I saw that price and I went, fuck out of here. Ain't nobody doing that. No. So, there. Because <laughs> a lot of people were telling me, oh, you have to have this or else you can't save. And I was like, how in the hell would they do that? Why would they go to proprietary storage and not offer anything else? They're not PS, like, not PlayStation, for God's sakes. Come on, get, get the fuck out of here. PlayStation did that for years and they finally opened it up. But, so, that's what those ports are for. Ooh. I'm just like, she, ooh, that, that makes, ugh, she is real weighty, but she's very, very pretty. So what I will do is um, kind of do a installation setup video, I guess, for this. Um, but she is beautiful, look at that, that's the sync button. I don't know where I'm gonna put her. So let me, uh, uh, let me arrange, let me move the camera up so you can see my face. So, haha, <laughs> bourbon, bitch, bourbon. Um, but this, but this right here is where I will be keeping my consoles. And eventually when I get the PS5, I'm not in a rush for the PS5, but eventually when I get it, it'll be over here as well. Um, my PS4 is currently in a box. Look at this junk, look at this junk, look at this junk. Ooh, over there. Yeah, there's my PS5, um, PS4 right over there. So what I will be doing is I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this because I have everything connected to my switch so that I can switch between them. <sighs> and nothing is cable managed because I can't cable manage to save my life, but these are driving me insane, so I'm gonna have to figure it out. But that's neither here nor there. So for here, I, I plan on putting it in this area and I'm not quite sure exactly how I wanna set it up yet, but this is where it's gonna go. I just wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you where it's gonna go. And yeah, so. That is the unboxing. I'm really excited about that. I think I might just put the um, connecting and hooking it up in another video or something like that. Um, simply because, yes. I got it. Yes. So on that note, thanks for hanging with me, guys. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye! I really can't do anything until I plug this hoe up. So I'm just saying. <laughs>